Okay, guys, here is a review. Okay, um, I got my new camera a couple, like, a week ago, but I have not done a review on it, okay? So, it's a really cool, it is a Sony, and it focuses a lot better, so expect really good stop motion that I just did test, and I will start on one of my stop motions eventually, but, um, let, let's, uh, get the name of it. It is the Sony Cyber Shot DSC H3 Digital Still Camera. Now, there's a lot of good things that you can get for this. It says optional, best recommended. It shows pieces and everything that you can get. But, um, um, but, uh, I do not have a cord for it since it was owned by another family member. And it is a DC input cable. So, in the memory card, I can take out, but I can't use it on my uh, laptop. So, that's something bad. Okay. So, again, it is the Sony CyberShot DS3H3 digital still camera. It it has some of the best, um, it focuses really, really good. So I'll do a couple of tests on it before I actually show a stop motion. Like, well, I do it. I'll do some tests on many figures and I'll do some stop motion tests and then I'll actually, I'll work on real stop motions. So I just have to see what it looks like when I edit it and everything. But, um, <clears throat> it's really cool. So let's get to the box. I mean, it is torn up, I'm telling you, really torn up, see, cannot see the camera on the box. It's all torn up and everything. So, some boy, oh, there's a good picture of it. Okay, so when you open the box, you open it, get a CD, a CD. Um, of course you get the camera itself, some instruction manuals, some more warranty, wrapping, you get the charger, you just simply hook into the wall, we'll get to all this good stuff, and then you have this little piece right here that goes onto the camera, and of course you get the camera, so, it's the box, and, um, so now let's get on to the pieces. Um, first, you get the warranty right here. A couple pages of warranties for different languages. You get a the instruction manual, instruction for, and you get a CD for it for your computer. And you get this wrapping that no one cares about. And then you get the charger for the battery. And just clip it into the wall, and you get this head, this piece for the lens. Yeah. So now here's the camera. It's a really nice camera. Really nice. It's in black. Not gray. Get a nice big screen. And you get the keypad, and then you get the little curly thing for whatever setting you want. Got the power button, got some music on it, some sound and everything. So a little stop sign. And the wall, um, so it's really cool, um, there's a flash on top. Right there. I'm trying to figure out how to get that to work. Um, pretty sh I'm not sure how to get that to work. But, um, it's a really cool camera. And it's really good pictures. I s s did a little tiny stop motion test. And I did a video of this safe. A little super simple safe. And, um, so that's about it. And this is my review. And, oh, it says super steady shot. This is a very good video for stop motion. 
in an okay video for um videos. Okay camera for videos because when you move around very fast it doesn't focus. So you have to sit there for about a couple of seconds to so it focuses so it's not the best for videos, it's really made for stop motions. So um I'm mostly gonna use that for stop motions and stuff. And um for review just for machines I make, I'm probably gonna use my other camera. But for reviews on sets, um stop motions and minifigure looks and all that, I'm gonna use this camera. So now I have two cameras to use. This one has about six minutes, I think up to ten minutes of video on it. So no long videos. Okay guys? No long videos. So um that is my review. And I hope y'all like this review and um more videos to come. Okay, bye.